This morning, we are in right downtown Wenatchee in front of Mike's Meats and Farmer's Market. Owner Mike McKee is here with me today and Ryan Fry. Ryan Fry just recently won the Chili Cook-Off, Coho Radio's Chili Cook-Off, and that must have been a lot of fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. We, en we enjoyed uh, all, the, uh, all the competition and everything. We had a great time with uh, a lot of the guys that uh, um, they, they actually they buy meats from us. So it, oh, was, exactly. it was a great time. Yeah. And uh, there was a little bit of that uh, you know, trash talking. So <laughs> it was good. It was a good time. It is, and it's stiff competition because there's many, many restaurants from our valley are represented there. Mike, very good to see you this morning. You too. It's been a while. We've been, what, a year, year and a half without doing a cooking show here, and I'm glad we're back back on the radar screen. <laughs> exactly. And I can't wait to show off the many changes that, is, that you've made uh, in, inside the store here, but today we're going to be working outside. Mike has his Mondo grill that he caters uh, for events and he has especially set that up for us today and we are going to be preparing. What's going to be on the menu today, Mike? Well, we're going to do uh, a, a culotte, which is the, uh, the top cap of a sirloin uh, muscle. Um, we'll do some asparagus. Uh, of course, Scott's bread. We we couldn't do a show without uh, absolutely without the artisan bread, and um, Mom's cheesy potatoes today. Oh, and that's why I do these really because I get to f <laughs> taste the finished product. That's the whole aim of these programs. But what we're going to do now is we're going to move inside, and Ryan and Mike are going to show us how we do the prep for what he's going to be placing on the grill. Now one thing that I wanted to do, and I know that purple is a signature Dave, but I am going to give you a Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market hat. Um, I suppose it will end up on the shelf at home, but at <laughs> least we're nice. going to give you one. You know, I have gotten more hats just as a result of wearing my UW cap and uh, thank you very much. I will wear it with pride, Mike. Thank you. Now, we've moved inside to the meat room here at Mike's Meats and Farmers Market. And what Ryan is going to show us here is how he prepares this culotte cut of the Painted Hills. I wanted to mention Painted Hills, Mike, because you're very proud to be one of their top uh, sellers of that particular brand which is an all-natural meat and I believe you also get poultry from that same company. Is well, right? Painted Hills is, is strictly a, a beef producer. It's beef. Right. But, uh, you know, it is very consistent time after time and uh, it's been a great partnership for us to be able to bring, you know, a quality product into Wenatchee. Mm -hmm. I just had to mention that this, uh, you know, I make a trip down to uh, the Oregon Coast to fish every fall and I always make sure that I take the Painted Hills rib steaks with me. I'm always invited on that trip because they're absolutely something special. It always amazes them the difference in quality you get from this level of quality of a meat. It's just great. Right. Okay now you're going to run out. You better keep an eye on that grill. I'm going to go check the smokehouse and uh, see what's yeah. happening over there. Oh, the smokehouse. Yeah, I can't wait to see what comes out okay. of there, Mike. Yeah. Okay, right now exactly how do you... Uh, oh, you're going to start right from the package. Fabulous. Yeah. Well, what I can tell you is that the, the culotte, it's a top cap muscle, and it has a, it's, it's more lean. You'll see oh, the, the, yeah. the striping through there. And what you'll do is you, you cut it this way. Okay. Across the grain. We'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. But for right now, I'll just show you what we do here. Is we take the top cap, we go ahead and open that up. Oh, that's got a nice layer of. Uh, well, that's, that's the fat. top cap. Yeah, that's, and that's yeah. all fat right there. Okay. And that fat on the top, um, 
we'll go ahead and we'll clean this up and I'll show you what we do outside when we, when we, uh, we'll keep this for later. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay. um, cook it on the grill and keep it all cleaned up. Look so how easy that separates, it. yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a great muscle to use, great steak to use, and it, and it cleans up so well and so easily. And you do get a little bit, I didn't cut that very well. Must be nervous. <laughs> I know you're so, using a nice fillet knife. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you have Did a few of these? That, yeah. I think you probably do. <laughs> so we'll keep that for later. We'll come back, we'll just clean that up just a little bit. And then on this back side, same kind of thing. Just kind of come right through. And uh, take some of this, what they call a silver skin. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. That little you know, membrane. This, the, yeah, that membrane will, will uh, it'll cook off, but you might as well make it look nice. Yeah. So, go ahead and take all that out. And actually, that's pretty really nice, nice that there isn't a lot involved, and it's so easy to, it is. to do, to prep that. Yeah. Um, we use these for a lot of catering events, mm -hmm. and they just, they turn out great because it's, uh, it, it holds a better uh, temperature, it's easier to work with, mm -hmm. you cook a whole bunch of little steaks, not a lot of fun to do. Oh, like sure. We're going to do a large event. There you Smaller go, you put that on, stuff. you grill that, and then you slice that out yep. for serving. And we'll just do that mm -hmm. right across there. Now, I always season everything, uh -huh. if I can, a day in advance. The reason for that is because you got sodium chloride, salt, NaCl, and that stuff needs to uh, pull a lot of that that flavor into the actual meat uh -huh. and that water activity because it's, it's what they call hydroscopic, doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. But again, that we always want to season them in advance if we can. 24 hours in advance. 24 hours in wow. advance. Wow. And so and that allows that spice to really work into the meat. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And the other thing is that we have a, uh, a, like a natural hickory smoke flavor. Oh. You know, use one of these guys. Just a touch? Just a touch of it. And what it does is the, the esters and, the, and the, the oils and everything permeate this thing. Nice. That just, it, it, it gives it just an absolutely great flavor. Too. Now, in your uh, uh, seasoning, your rub essentially, it looks mm -hmm. like what you're using there, is there a certain uh, spice element in that that you're looking for? Or is it just a pepper? A lot of it is uh, black pepper. Uh -huh. And when you use a fresh ground black pepper, it makes all the difference in the world. Sure. We, we get a really great pepper um, here at Mike's. Uh, we just, we use that, uh, uh, it's a it's a coarser grind. Yes. And what it does is it, 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 it cooks kind of like wood. And so mm -hmm. it gives it, um, the oils kind of come out of that, and that's what that's nice. what really kind of gives it that flavor. Okay. Um, we add a little bit of seasonings and things like that. Can't tell you what. That's so, right. <laughs> you have to so. shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't show you. <laughs> <laughs> the boss would be mad if I did. Okay. So again, I do it pretty liberally if I can. Um, when you get them out there on that grill. You're gonna find that uh, you know, some of that seasoning is gonna fall off a little bit. Sure. And, uh, and I noticed that hickory, I, I can really smell that just a little bit goes a long ways. It just does. Just a touch. It yeah. does. We mix it down uh, a little bit because you don't need a whole lot. Yeah. So that's kind of you come to combine that with just the. Uh, natural smokes that come off the grill and it's just got to be oh yeah i can't wait to try yeah that's gonna be bad news. well and if we have a chance you know uh, on other occasions we will uh we'll just smoke it again we have this oh, great smokehouse that's and we'll right. just do it real light and uh, we'll do a kind of a cold smoke works out really great because it just needs a few minutes exposure to that smoke to really most times yeah most time with beef you want to do, it'll take about uh, 45 minutes to an hour 
chicken will do the same thing. Once it starts drying out, that smoke flavor uh -huh. has kind of permeated enough. If you gotcha. do a cold smoke, it'll it'll pull it in uh, longer. Okay. So okay, that's good. So we got the paper. And what we do is we'll season everything on the paper, and if the uh, home cook that kind of stuff, we uh, what you'll do is just season it right on that paper. Just roll it right back up in that paper. Once you refrigerate that, you're all set to go. That's great. Easy way to do it. Just roll it right back up in there. A little Is origami. A little yeah, a little origami. origami work. You're set oh. to go. So. Mike, what did, what did you have? Oh, look at this. <laughs> well, we are doing our uh, bacon. Uh, so 12 hours in the smokehouse, and boy, look what happens. Look at that slab. Oh my goodness, that's got to be something special. Now, what kind of a smoke uh, do you prefer to use? We, you, we use a hickory smoke. A hickory smoked yeah. slab of bacon. Oh my gosh. I bet that doesn't that last long nice. in the meat counter. Does it, Ryan, you see that kind of fly out of here pretty Oh, uh, I have to spend a lot of time wrapping it. <laughs> <laughs> I spent most of my day just wrapping up stuff. I, I, Try and cook fast enough. I can't get it done. Well, that looks this flies out of here like yeah. this. This is a big commercial smoker that you've added to your armament here. <laughs> Mike's meat has got to be very popular. That it, looks fabulous. It stays. It stays busy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put this back. Well, that's great. So we've got this all prepped and ready to go. We are all set. We're ready to move out to the big grill and see how we put this together. Let's get it on. If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Hi! You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get a camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are gonna flip. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do. Commercial business use, home heating, water heating, pool and spa heating, clothes drying, fuel for kitchen stoves, and of course, grilling. Propane is extremely affordable, clean burning, and extremely efficient. For a location near you, check your local yellow pages or visit us at Amerigas.com. Enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery, flexible payment options, and customer referral awards. Amerigas, America's propane company. Reliable, safe, and responsive. Well, we've moved outside now, and this grill, Mike, uh, I haven't seen one like this. You're probably not going to see another one like this. This is a custom-made grill. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it is made for catering. Yes. Uh, big, big groups, uh, large amounts of a product. Yeah. So at um, 20, 24 feet, um, you know, we we can do about anything on it. Uh, whether it's just indirect heat, 
for the potatoes so we're going to just kind of keep those warm right. keep our bread warm to you know i've had it loaded full with chicken it uh, huge cooking area good. and not just here but here and then also on the end i see you've got the chafing dish set up you can have what a half a dozen different sides going over there and right, right and then your prep table over here to do your vegetables and everything it's an amazing unit it's uh, completely self-contained we can just pull up and, and prep everything right here on site that's fabulous now also before you actually put your your meat on the grill you do something to get it prepared yeah this, for that. this is that fat cap that, oh yeah uh, that uh, we, we you said off we there. were going to save that. And what, you save what we do with it is we just take it and use that to season our grill up and uh, keep stuff from sticking. It uh, kind of cleans it up a little bit and uh, get it get it. Uh, That's a lot better than the ham I use at home. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And it's natural. And it's natural. That's right. Natural. We find it doesn't explode either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You put too many paint cans right here. Or yeah. Pam. Yeah. Cans of Pam on here. On Basically, a, what a hot day. What the plan is here is we're going to take our uh, our steaks and put them on, and uh, I'd like to mm. to get them hot. Uh, we the, the, the coals have been going for for 45 minutes now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it it is extremely warm. Um, we'll. Um, sear them then we'll lift that up just a little bit nice thing about the oh, grill is I can yeah. lift and lower so we can control our temperatures yeah. um, but uh, you know it's a, it's a very easy uh, grill to work with um, so at this point in time I'm just going to turn this over to Ryan our uh, chef here on staff and um, you know that uh, what, 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 I, what I like to say about Ryan is um, you know he makes my life easy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if, if it's good, I take the credit. Gotcha. I have yet not had, uh, you know, not been able to take the credit. But in, just in case, <laughs> there was a split pea soup incident. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I, so. I made sure we only served it to one person, <laughs> and we didn't like that person anyway. So it was Great. all right. Great. So I'm going to turn this over to Ryan, and oh, he's going to okay. walk you through the rest of the process here. Great, Mike. Now. One of the things too, just as a general rule, now I've been told that you want to take your meats, and maybe it's not as critical here, but at home, you should take that out prior to going on the grill to get it to room temperature. Absolutely. Okay. And the reason for that is because you're denaturing a protein. Oh, okay. And at a particular temperature. Well, uh -huh. if you keep that cold on the inside, what it does is it just, it just uh, more or less squeezes it so you have this, this big rare spot yeah and then everything else is uh, well done gotcha and so you need to let it rest at the start and the finish all right okay so and the then nice the thing other thing this, is a, a nice sear oh absolutely uh-huh you sear when you're searing that outside of that protein of uh, meats even even fish um, chicken anything like that you're searing that outside and then you're just bringing everything up to temperature, okay. and you're not releasing all the juices out of it. Exactly. That's what That's seals what you want. in those juices. Yeah, you want to have that moisture to it. So Terrific. again, uh, when you'll start seeing that sear, now where we uh -huh. moved it to, where it was where it's at, uh -huh. and where we need to move it to is a new hot spot. Okay. Okay. Currently, we don't have any any uh, dark marks on there, so we'll give it a we'll give it a minute or two. Yeah, you just want to have that nice grill mark. That nice grill mark is going to tell you that it's it's caramelized, that it's going to it's uh, sealed in there, mm -hmm. that you have uh, uh, at least you have that one side done, mm -hmm. and then that's when you want to flip it. Now, when you flip it on the grill, you want to move it to a new spot because that metal there is getting cold. Ah, move okay. it to a new hotter spot on the grill. Okay. And then you'll get better uh, grill marks on there. Great. We'll let these cook for a minute, and then uh, yeah, we got let's these, see what else you've got here. We've got uh, we've got that artisan bread that we cooked. This is uh, what they call the Roman wheel. 
I've had that. Scott has, has given me a couple of these loaves in the past, and I'll tell you what, they are fabulous. It's a nice, rich flavor. The mm -hmm. flavor of that is, it's a Roman meal, so it's a, a darker, Absolutely. when you open that up, it's a darker. Yeah. Nice thing about that, Put it set right it right on the grill. Nice. Warm it set up. it right That's on the grill, cool. warm it up. Get the crispness on the outside. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I like stuff that has more of a, a crunch. A crunch to it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And has a little bit of a crust to it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going. We also have potatoes. Now, what we did is we, I like to use these aluminum pans. Yeah. Nice thing about these aluminum pans is uh, you can get going. Uh, and finish and you don't have a mess again i like the paper on the steak season it on the paper you don't have a mess to to deal with later right as far as your grilling sure you know everybody's gonna well that's... everybody's gonna eat by the time you're done eating yeah <laughs> you feel like sleeping yeah so it's the same kind of thing so we got uh potatoes and what we did was we did a like a hash brown potato that's what i noticed it's it's not like a scallop it's a hash brown yeah and this works great as far as camping, fishing, that kind of stuff. Get yourself sure. some hash brown potatoes. Yeah. You can do use the rehydrated ones. You yes. Can use, uh, the uh, uh, the frozen ones as well. Yeah. Throw them in your cooler. Yeah. Same kind of thing. You use that. Um, I did this one with cream and mushroom soup. You can do it with chicken. Uh, cream cream chicken. chicken soup. Okay. Uh, a little bit of uh, sour cream. Mix that up. The thing is, is they'll, and they'll tell you. You know, preparation is everything. Yeah. It makes it makes life so much simpler. Yeah. Simpler as far as getting out there, you know, and Everything's doing, ready. doing what you want to do, mm -hmm. going out fishing, camping, that kind yeah. of stuff, especially uh, the outdoors. Um, have it all set for you. Yeah. Have it seasoned, you know, 24 wrapped, hours in advance. In the cooler, and then you're ready to go. Yeah. Make, make your life easy because when you get out there, you got to have your fire. You yep. got to have, have, uh, all that stuff all set, you know. And then and it's it ready to go. Now, Absolutely. hash brown potatoes, cream of mushroom soup, or cream of chicken soup. Mm -hmm. And there's a few other items in this dish. Oh yes, I added some rosemary, just to add some nice. rosemary to that. Uh -huh. I added a little bit of uh, fresh thyme. I always uh -huh. like to use fresh herbs. Okay. Uh, that other stuff, that's that's pretty, it, it, it tastes like pencil shavings. You know, you might as well use the fresh stuff. If you can and find it. And then you've grated. You have fresh stuff. And yeah. You might as well use it. Good. So. And then you grate just cheddar over the top of that? Or? I did it in two layers. Okay. So <laughs> I like to do weird nice. stuff. I like to have those those nice little layers to it. Yeah. And the, the cool thing is, is once you get it done, you can almost just, just about pop it out. Ah, okay. So, and that'll, that'll and come again, out. Again, uh, these little, aluminum little pans, you just seal them up, you know, with yep. oil or wrap. They're in the cooler, ready to go. Absolutely. Everybody's hungry, you can feed them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it works so great because you can put everything on your barbecue, yeah. have it all set, ready to go. So, uh, let's see if our steaks are ready to turn here. Oh, uh, coals are getting a little bit cold, but we're still getting good. Oh, yeah. Good sear on the outside there. Yeah. Now we should have moved that to this spot over here. This guy needs to go over here. That's yeah. You hear it? That, oh yeah. When there you hear you that, when you hear that sizzle, that's when you know you're you're, you're getting to the right spot. spot. Yep. Let's move this guy over here. There we go. We got all three sizzling. That's music. Okay. Doke. All right, we've moved over here to your prep table. This is all part of this big unit here. Oh yeah. You've got a nice big cutting board and what you got cooking here. Now what we're going to do next is probably we'll get started with our asparagus. Uh -huh. We got the water boiling on this other side. Now I always like to render bacon fat and onions down. Let's see, where'd that knife go? There's one down Another here. bucket. Down here. Oh, right down there. Here we go. Here's your tool chest. Yep. I do like my knives. Always sharp. Always. I always do my vegetables first. And if I have to do cured meats, things like that, I can do that later. Fun knives to have. 
these they make them and they are actually a, a, a balanced handle. Yes. If you throw sand in the in the end of those, and they don't have a they don't have a bolster. And when you're doing a lot of prep, that pays off, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> you're not gonna wear your wrist out. Yeah. If we're gonna do 400 people, you better not wear your wrist out because <laughs> you're gonna be spending the rest of the time plate yeah. food and everything else. Yeah. So what I do. I, again, I cut those onions in half. Mm -hmm. I'll cut them into about quarters or so. Depending on the size of that asparagus. Now you see that asparagus. That's a I'm nice thinking, thin, yeah. Yeah. Nice thin stalks. Yeah. And what I'll do is I'll cut it all that way. Mm -hmm. Half, and then come back and just kind of push it through. Again, there's, there's almost no work to be done on your wrist. Good sharp knife. With a good sharp knife. It's oh, a lot that more fun that way. Bacon looks so good. <laughs> this is this is that bacon. Oh my god. This gosh. is that bacon. You see? That's fat. Now you need to have all that fat. Mm -hmm. You really do. Yep. People That's want the that flavor. They say, well, I want some lean bacon. What was the point of making bacon if <laughs> you wanted That's it right. lean? You want to have you want to have that bacon fat in there, you know? That's right here. So it looks like you almost wind up with equal parts bacon as onion. I do. Yeah. Yeah. As soon Very as I nice. get about there, you're I'm good. good. Okay. You know what? We need more fat, though. <laughs> we need more fat. Always. I love it. So we just cut through there. So beautiful. Yeah, we'll let that render down, and we'll cook that in our uh, saute pan. Okay. So we'll take this stuff here. Love these knives for that reason. They work like little uh, little spatula, little spatula right there. Get a nice little sear on there. Full flame works out great. Smelling Nothing that pepper. Better. That's that coarse pepper. Yeah. You're smelling more of that because yeah. it's like a again, it's like that wood. It pulls all that oil and all the esters out of that. Huh? Just has a great flavor to it. Oh, you know, the aroma is killing me. Yeah. <laughs> so easy to do. You know, it's those, it's the little steps and techniques that you really um, they make all the difference in the end product, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. I really want to see it brown, brown. I want to see almost this red brick color okay. to it. That's the color we want. Now we're going with onions. Now when we add these onions, you gotta understand that onions have as much sugar in them as apples do. Oh, and again, okay. we're the apple capital of the world. We should be the onion capital of the world. Famous for sweet onions. Yes. These are actually a Mayan sweet. This is what we get. I saw in, that. Uh, in, you know, December. Uh, yeah. That area into January, that kind of stuff. They still they have the, the same quality of the Walla Wallas that come in season later. Absolutely, yeah. And again, when they say sweet onion, you know we we love these onions for the fact that they have a high sugar content. Yeah. That's the caramel that comes out of them. Okay, okay. When we're adding the, when you make a caramel, you're making it with uh, pretty much like uh, brown sugar and butter. Okay. okay. What we've done here is we're using bacon fat and the onion. natural sugars from natural the onion. sugars from yeah. So, okay. really good stuff. I think it is. Very good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Keep cooking this down. You add a little bit of honey. They'll they'll make it like a bacon uh, 
uh, bacon jam is what they call it. Oh, really? Really, really pr popular in the past couple of years in uh, Seattle, in that area. You know, one thing that you want to do with your onions and your once you have these uh, these onions caramelized, mm -hmm. you want to add just a little bit of water. If you start getting too much, you you want brown. You don't want black. Gotcha. Hit it with just little bits of little bits of water, and what that does is that he glazes that pan. Oh, okay. And loosens it up enough to kind of start making it a little bit saucy and uh, oh, okay. cleaning up the bottom of that pan. So you're getting the sugars off of the bottom of that pan. Okay. And so that's kind of what we're after. It looked like a train wreck. It'll taste <laughs> incredible. I can tell. Yeah. The aromas are fabulous. That's how that works. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're good with our asparagus. Now I'll, I'll poach them like this sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, to make it easy on myself, I'll be able to poach them and then cut the rubber bands and be able to oh, get sure. the whole bit that done. That keeps the, the bundle together, makes it easier yeah. to handle. Yeah. Just so long as you have enough water. Otherwise, you're just cooking the outside and the inside's not going to really get there. So you got to gotcha. kind of move it around and make sure those British thermal units are working inside that water. Okay. So, just about be set. We got our cheap potatoes. Well, looks like everything's coming together. It timed out just right. We, we have the steaks are done. We've got everything going for these sides. The next step is dining. My favorite part. <laughs> Hooked on toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Hi! You are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get a camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do. Commercial business use, home heating, water heating, pool and spa heating, clothes drying, fuel for kitchen stoves, and of course, grilling. Propane is extremely affordable, clean burning, and extremely efficient. For a location near you, check your local yellow pages or visit us at Amerigas.com. Enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery, flexible payment options, and customer referral awards. Amerigas, America's propane company. Reliable, safe, and responsive. Well, Dave, truly a meal fit for a king here. <laughs> you can say that again. My goodness, and we Ryan, still have good the job. bread to put on there. Oh, oh yeah, and we've man. got that great Roman wheel uh, that Scott makes here with artisan breads. That's just a nice addition to this fabulous meal. And again, now this is look at the, the top cap or stuff. the culotte culotte cut of meat and as Ryan has finished this we, we've let this set for 
oh, 10 minutes maybe. About 10 minutes. It comes off the grill. Right. It just turns and to this see. beautiful color. Right. And, and it finishes. It finishes itself. When it rests. It, it, it allows everything to get kind of reconstituted. Mm -hmm. So you see you see the color. It's not raw. No. It's not, it's, it's not super rare. Again, we had that, we started it at the room temperature. Yeah. We wanted to finish it at that room temperature so that we have that full color to it. Right. And that's almost where we're at. I'm a little disappointed myself, but the <laughs> boss is always happy. Well, I already got a little sample and I got <laughs> disappointed in the least. That's okay. just beautiful. And again now, poached asparagus. Poached asparagus. And I want to remind people with the, when they've done this at home for their own grill, we showed them how to do the, um, do the prep work, your rub, refrigerate 24 hours in advance. So that's all got a chance to go to work. Right. Also, what I really like too, this, this potato dish, very simple, hash browns, either reconstituted or frozen and thawed. Yep. Then you've added either cream of chicken soup or cream of mushroom soup, and then a layer. Brian likes to do layers. I like layers. <laughs> and then with the cheese. A little and, masonry work. And then again, now that can be just put in a pan and in the cooler, ready to go. Ready anytime. To go. And stuff. then <laughs> I think this meal would not even, what really puts it over the top is what you call the smoked bacon caramelized onion jam. Yes. Oh. Well, it's not quite the jam if you had honey. Oh, then, okay. Well, I didn't yeah. add the honey to it. We didn't time. add the honey this time. I always but like oh to do something different. I can't God. do the same thing twice, boss. Right. I'm sorry. And that just right. adds a quality to this dish that I've never had something like this before. This is fabulous. And again, prepared right on the grill. The only thing that we didn't need the grill for is maybe to boil some water to blanch the asparagus. Well, we could have done it there. Could have done, you know, absolutely. You can do the asparagus this right guy, on the grill. It's this a guy was way to do it. Yeah, just that had that been sizzling. You can just roll it in there. Yep. Yeah. Wonderful. Make your life easy. Yeah. Make it simple. Don't don't overcomplicate what you're going to do. But again, be prepared. Season your stuff early. Yes. Um, have your dishes, the side dishes and things like that, have them kind of set as far as what you want to do. Right. And it's a it's a simple little simple little uh, number. And the joy is in the tasting. I'll tell you it's what, good. this is one fabulous grilled meal. Mike, you must make a lot of people happy with a dish like that. Yeah, uh, like I said, Ryan makes my life very simple. <laughs> uh, I just step in and take the credit. Well, it's wonderful, I'll tell you. Good job, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> well, Mike, thank you very much for having us down here. Ryan, wonderful job. Oh, it was Wonderful a job in this meal. Pleasure. I want to remind people, they can get all of the quality products that you're seeing right here, right inside Mike's Meats and Farmer's Market, where you're going to get the best quality cuts of the meats that you saw demonstrated here. Also, prepared right here out of his own smoker is this fabulous smoked bacon. And once again, thanks, <clears throat> excuse me, thank you very much for having us down here. Wonderful. And uh, don't forget, he'll drag this thing right up into here <laughs> anywhere you want to go. It's totally portable. And for your event or gathering, what a deal. Amazing. Thanks again. Thanks for coming Thank down. You. Enjoyed having you here.